once you've got your Unreal scene open, so this is mine at the moment, uh, which I'm pretty much doing all my testing in, um, I'm just going to re-import the FBX, so I'm just going to import it as a fresh import, if the window opens. Mm -hmm. There we go, uh, and I'm just going to go to... You do, and um, there we go. Grab that. So I'm just going to auto generate collision because I don't really need it at the moment. I'm um, just going to make sure these are unticked as well and click import. Now the main difference that you'll see with this is that it's actually given you a second UV channel. Now Unreal, you can actually do this automatically if you wanted to, um, but I find doing it in Maya gives me a lot more control over how well it actually uh, works. So if I if I click on UV channel one and click UV, you can see this is my light map now. And if I go back to UV channel zero, this is the texture map. So and down here you can see a change. So if this might be hidden, so if you go build settings, you'll see that you can change the resolution. So one two eight, Ooh, not that. And just make sure this is uh, set to one as well. Now, if I close this down, yes, I'm just going to drag this and see. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to build the lighting. So, I'm going to go up to here to build, and I'm going to make sure it's set to production. And I'm going to build. Now, I don't think this should kick any errors out at me. Might do. Let's just wait a minute. Now if you can't, well we're just waiting for that to build, if you can't see this it means that you haven't turned it on, so if you show stats and then show FPS ticked, what that will do is it will show you the FPS for the scene, it will also show you any, like if lighting needs to be rebuilt, it will tell you how many objects that, that, that needs to be rebuilt on. So that's it, um, that's pretty much it with it, uh, sometimes you will have to go back in and change things. Um, uh, sometimes it might not work straight away, so you would have to go back into Maya and just make some small edits to it. Um, but you can also, as well, change it from being static to um, stationary. Uh, basically, it still allows uh, enables cache lighting methods when not moving. So, for example, here, what would what would be a good example for that would be if you've got like a water mill. Um, not all the, if it wasn't moving all the time, say it stopped for a bit, it would then bake the static lighting in. But if it was moving all the time, it would be um, you would be able to you wouldn't be able to bake the uh, static lighting. So you would have to um, have it movable, and then movable as well. Uh, totally dynamic, cast dynamic shadows, uh, slowest for the rendering, but is used mainly for characters and movable objects, so cars and that sort of stuff. So hopefully this was useful and I'll see you in the next video.